A group of DPP lawmakers today came out to call for the foreign ministry to cut its funding for two NGOs found in part by Taiwan to combat anti-communist influence. The lawmakers criticized the two organizations, saying that they spend more than half of the government's subsidies on personnel costs and do little to help Taiwan's international standing. The issues relating to the World League for Freedom and Democracy and the Asian Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy are issues that have been around for a long time, but in the past have not been addressed. A group of DPP lawmakers raised concerns that the foreign ministry-funded World League for Freedom and Democracy and its regional subsidiary, the Asia and Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy, were accomplishing precious little while spending a majority of their budgets on personnel costs. The organizations were actually founded with the goals of promoting freedom and democracy and opposing communism. Later, the anti-communism part was dropped, and their leaders started to make frequent trips to China. That's not free, nor is it democratic, and definitely not anti-communist. It's a violation of the organization's original charters. Their response has been that they need to be kept around because of Taiwan's trouble expanding its international profile. But I'd like to ask, have either of them ever published a statement supporting Taiwan's participation in the UN or any other related international institutions? According to our inquiry, they haven't. The DPP members of the legislature's Foreign and National Defense Committee are expected to push for cutting the personnel budget of the World League for Freedom and Democracy and freezing its budget for operations. They're hoping to cut all subsidies for the Asian Pacific League for Freedom and Democracy.